Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Redis tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Redis on your Windows operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Redis. And hopefully the first result which will appear here will be from redis.io. So you need to just click this link which is for the redis.io and then once you click this link you will be able to see the downloads tab on the top of uh, this website so let me just maximize this uh, browser and i can see this tab which is for downloads right so i'm going to click this downloads tab and then i'm in the download section now when you scroll down a little you will see a windows section here and there is a message here which says the Redis project does not officially support Windows. However, the Microsoft Open Tech Group develops and maintains this Windows port targeting Windows 64. So Redis project does not officially support Windows, but there is a group of uh, developers which makes it available for Windows. So we just need to click this link which says learn more and when you click this link you will be redirected to a github page of redis which is maintained by microsoft archive so once you reach to this page and scroll a little down and reach to the readme.md uh, here on the third line you will be able to see this uh, message which says you can download the latest unsigned binary and unsigned MSI installer from this page so there is a link for uh, the release page right so just click this link which says release page and then you will be redirected to the downloads page for redis for windows right now when you scroll down a little here here are few options to download uh, a redis on your windows operating system the first option is by using dot msi file which is our installer second option is by using a zip file so all the binaries will be packed in this zip file and you need to uh, set up the environment variable so i'm going to show you both the ways so let's start with the dot zip file so i'm going to download this dot zip file first of all and i'm going to minimize the browser and here in downloads i can see this zip file so what i will do is i will create a new folder i'm making this folder in my downloads uh, directory itself and i will name it as redis but you are free to create this uh, directory anywhere wherever you wish right and then i'm going to extract this uh, zip file inside this redis uh, folder so let me drag this to this uh, redis folder this zip file and then i'm going to just uh, extract all files inside this redis uh, folder right so it's going to extract all the files it's uh, not really big file so it will be uh, extracted really soon and you can see all the files are extracted inside this redis folder and there is a, a redis minus x64 minus 3.2 3.2 is the latest version at the time of making this video so inside this uh, redis folder there are some uh, files so these files are all are important but two are of our interest one is redis server and another is redis cli so let me minimize this other window here and then I'm going to double click on this uh, redis minus server exe file. So I'm going to double click on this redis server, which is going to start the redis server. And it will ask you to give uh, the administrative privileges or you need to allow the access to the server. So here I'm going to just uh, press this button which says allow access. And now the redis server has been started. Now the default port on which the Redis server start is this one which is 6379 okay. So this is the default port on which Redis starts on the local host. 
and then uh, this is the PID of this Redis server, right? Now next, I'm going to start the Redis CLI to interact with the server. So now this time, click on this Redis CLI and it's going to start another terminal and it's going to connect to this Redis server and then using this uh, CLI, you will be able to interact with this server, right? So this is the client and server is running in the background, right? So let me minimize this window also and let me just place this server here and let me open this client on the right hand side, right? So this is the server and this is the client. Now in this client, when you write ping, you will get the response pong. So you can see I'm getting the response pong. That means the server is running fine and my client is able to connect to the server and get the response, right? Now, in order to save something as a key value pair, for testing, we can just write set and then it's going to give you some intelligence also. So I just wrote a keyword set and it gives me the hint that I need to give the key value uh, pair here. So as a key, I will give a name or name key and I will uh, give any name as a value. So for example, mark, I'm going to give as a name, right? And then I'm going to press enter and it says, okay, that means this key value, that means name is our key and mark is the value of the name, which is the value, right? So to get this value, you can just write get and then the name of the key, which is name itself in our case and press enter and it's going to give the, us the value, right? So that means everything is working fine and uh, we are able to connect to the Redis server and uh, it's able to save the values, right? But sometimes or most of the times you will not go to this uh, server and start from this directory, right? So you want to, uh, you know, uh, open your command line from your windows and you want to uh, connect from uh, this command terminal from windows, not from uh, this location, right? So in order to do that, you need to set the environment variables. So let's set the environment variables for this Redis uh, client and server. So we will be able to open this uh, Redis server and Redis client from our windows terminal so in order to do this you just need to right click on your this pc so just right click on this pc and then go to the properties and once this properties window is open we will go to the advanced settings so just click this option which says advanced system settings and once this advanced system setting is open we are going to go to the environment variables. Just click this option which says environment variables. And once environment variables is open, you just need to select this option under the system variable, which is for path. So just double click on this option which says path. And here we just need to give a new environment variable. And this new environment variable is the path to your redis folder where your server and redis cli is there so you just need to copy this path where this redis server executable file is there and redis cli file is there so i'm just going to copy this path and then into this environment variable i will just create a new variable so i will just click new and then i will paste this path right and then press enter and then click ok and then once again click OK and then once cl again click OK, right? So now the environment variable for Redis server is set. So now I will just close these two terminals, right? And then I'm going to open the command line. So to open my Windows terminal, I can right click on this Windows icon. So just right click on the Windows icon and then open the command prompt. You can open the command prompt from here also or with the admin privileges. So I'm going to open the command prompt with the admin privileges. And once the command prompt is open, 
I can start the server from this command prompt. So to start the server, you just need to write redis minus server, which is the executable file here, right? So I'm going to just write redis minus server and then press enter, which is going to start the redis server, right? So because we have set the environment variable, now we can uh, start the server from the command prompt from Windows from any location, right? Now in order to start the client, we will open another command prompt and then we can start this with the redis cli command. So I'm going to just write redis minus cli and then press enter and then we are connected to this server, right? Now, once again, I can set uh, any value here. So for example, set and then any name or any key, I'm going to uh, say this time the key is any number. So I'm going to just write uh, number and then any number, for example, 50 here, right? And then press enter. And then I'm going to get number, number, and then press enter and it's going to give us the value of this number which is 50 right so in this way also you can uh, start your redis server and redis client okay now in case if you're wondering how we can uh, install this redis on our windows operating system using this msi file which is the more easier version we can just download this msi file and once this msi file is downloaded i'm going to go to the location where it's downloaded and once this location is open i'm going to install it so i'm going to minimize my browser and i can see that this msi file is there in my downloads folder so i'm going to double click on this msi file and once this msi file uh, installer starts we just need to click some next button to install it so just wait for some seconds to start the wizard and we just need to click next here and then just accept terms and condition and then click next and this is the location where redis will be installed on your system and then this is uh, the important step so it will ask you if you want to add redis installation folder to your environment variable so this installer will automatically add the redis path to the environment variable if you check this option which is more easier also right and then click next and this is the default port as i already said 6379 and then uh, it says add an exception to the firewall we can just click next here and then we will just uh, set the memory as default and click next and just click install right so it's going to start installing and in some seconds redis will be installed on your system and once it's installed then you will be able to start redis from your command line once again so once again for example i am going to open the command prompt and then i will give the redis cli command so i'm going to just write redis minus cli and it's automatically has been started and when i just write ping i will get the response pong so you may be wondering that this time i haven't started the redis server so if you use the redis installer msi file to install redis the server will be automatically started and you don't need to explicitly start the server you just need to connect to the server using the redis cli so you just need to open the command prompt and then using redis cli you can connect to that server which is already been started by that installer automatically right so this time we don't need to start the server it's already has been started we just need the redis cli to connect to it so these are the two ways which you can use to install redis on your windows operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.